what's going on YouTube dread life 101 back today with another video for you guys so today we got to hit on a few topics uh, one major key point today gonna be um, keeping our dreads clean making sure that we're washing our dreads um, if you've been viewing my channel already you already realize that uh, I'm a person that doesn't really need a lot of upkeep I don't really um, do all the waxes and the gels and all the products and stuff like that so my hair is at a minimal level uh, as far as product build up in my hair with even that being said since I don't use a lot of products and I don't have a lot of stuff to wash out of my hair I still require my hair to be clean there's nothing that's supposed to grow dirty other than plants and since your head is not a plant you need to keep it clean the myth about not washing your dreads and they'll lock faster that's a lie when your hair locks it's because it's starting to swell and wrap around the other hair follicles that wouldn't happen without the one process or step of water being added to it and then it constricting back to itself so whether you're a newbie or a veteran in the dread game it is extremely important to keep your dreads clean one being if you are a newbie and you're adding a lot of products to your hair which I'm assuming that you are um, you want to get that stuff out of your head the only reason you want to put it in there is to help hold the form of the coil pattern and really you should only be using those products if you cannot naturally get your hair to produce a form of a coil pattern or some type of uh, coil that you want whatever type of uh, form that you want your dress to be in whether it be free form um, or whatever the case is um, but you need to get that stuff out of your head the longer you keep it in your hair the longer it starts to bond to the actual hair follicles and then that stuff is never gonna actually come out it's just gonna stay in there and produce bacteria produce um, fungus fungus makes smell and the smell comes it's usually a little bit too late um, some of you guys might see videos on the internet where people go once or whatever the case is without washing their hair they're gonna have some issues they're going to have problems in the future and I can guarantee they're either gonna end up cutting their hair or they're gonna end up freeforming their hair people don't want to wash their hair because they don't want their parts to be messed up and they don't want to mess up their lock your lock is not ever gonna start at the root so no matter what you do even if you don't wash your hair if you go to work and even if you don't sweat your roots are gonna get puffy it's, it's just natural for your roots to never lock the tips of your hair is where the lock starts never at the root so never expect for your roots to lock that's not ever gonna happen the reason you really want to keep your hair clean just like every other surface of your body that has hair your genitals your underarms um, wherever else your chest for your genitals you might use uh, bathing powder or baby powder or something like that to keep the bacteria down there at bay basically just keeping it nice and dry your underarms you use a antiperspirant use a deodorant to make sure that it's dry for your hair you want to do the same thing you need to wash it and make sure that the surface is dry now if you go about not washing your hair for a really long time you're already going to produce a certain amount of oils and moisture on your scalp no matter what whether it be from the environment or it be from your natural body content you sweating um, whatever you're you you're a human organism you're 85 percent water like you can't help but produce some type of perspirant on all the surfaces of your body that hold hair your eyebrows sweat your head sweats your underarms definitely sweat your genital area definitely sweats right so the whole 
concept of not washing your dreads is is bull crap. It's weird. Why would you not wash your hair? That makes no sense. If you're trying to keep a certain style in, I mean, good luck. At the end of that, like I say, about a week and a half, you're going to be patting, you're going to be scratching, you're going to have that rat tooth comb, you're going to be poking and scratching. Why? Because that bacteria is starting to set in. That that area didn't actually get to reset itself. Like for your underarms and your genitals, you wash those just about every day, right? How does it feel if you go a day without washing your underarms or washing your genitals or keeping them dry at least? It sucks, right? So why do that to the top of your head? Make sure you're washing your dreads. Make sure you're drying your scalp in your dreads. Especially if you use products if you're going to use those products, make sure you get your hair dry afterwards. Otherwise, you let bacteria set in and soak in, and it basically just starts to feed that product. Those products are dead, but when it meets water and it meets other chemicals, um, and then the temperature along with darkness, it creates basically like an atmosphere or an environment for it to thrive. Everything grows in the dark. Plants grow in the dark. You grow at night when you go to sleep. That's just how it is. Make sure you wash your hair. Don't not wash your hair. If you're trying to keep a style in, do as much as you can to keep it clean. Run water through your scalp. Put water on your hands. Run it through your hair. Get some type of water in there. Get some type of airflow in there. Not washing your hair is unacceptable. Whether you got dreads, or you got regular hair. That's Dread Life 101. I'ma holla at y'all.